Hi, I'm Neil Whitaker, and um, I'm using one of the new um, summer cellophanes called Haley. This comes in three different colours, lilac, white and hot pink. And a real nice combination of um, flowers that are in here with the stamens coming through. And it is clear, so you've got a transparency to it. But I like to mix things, so I've got this wonderful black tint. And if you actually take this wonderful cellophane called Haley and place it onto the tin, as you can see, you can really change the whole look of the cellophane quite simply and very inexpensively. So it means that you can use one cellophane and you could have three different colored tints. So you could put a pink or a hot pink or a green or a yellow underneath and just change the whole combination. And we're going to make a front facing tropical design that's going to sit in one of the um, metallic bags and these come in an array of colours. So um, just go to widup.co.uk to see more information on this product. So first of all I'm going to take one square of each of the two colours, so the black and the white. I need to make sure that this is cut straight. So there we have the two cellophanes together and I'm now going to fold into that first square. So just look how wonderful that looks, how different just by changing. If I just slide them apart and you can just see the difference by having the transparency and then the colour underneath really just changes the whole look. So I'm going to turn this over to the black side first of all and then we're going to this point and then we're going to take the other one in on the opposite way and I'm just going to catch that because you can see that there's a black seam at the bottom here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in because if I haven't got that spot on, I can just take that away. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of sellotape down the backbone of the cellophane and just gently trim the top so we've got this wonderful look to the actual cellophane now. So it's really becoming quite striking and I'm just going to fold the bottom up slightly to catch. So that's my first piece ready. I'm going to take that to one side and then I want one more square of the black and the white together. So that's two squares. So again, measure so you've got the right size. Fold back as we always do to the center so we find that middle point ready for the hand tied. So we're now ready with the cellophane and now we're going to create our hand tied. So we've got a wonderful selection of black tie leaves, dracaena leaves, some palm leaves, sandriana foliage and then we've got some gingers, some sitacorum and some musa and a little bit of um, salal leaf. So first of all I'm going to start off with one of my gingers and then we can add the leaf. Then we can add our next ginger. So these stand upright take our musa flower or banana flower and take this into the design like so. I've got some rolled leaves which we can place through and into the base of the hand tied. This is adding texture and also interest to the actual hand tied itself. Adding our other ginger and then we can start to add the sitacorum so 
So I'm just threading in the Sitacorum through. Now we can add the Sandriana foliage to also add interest. Through the design, we can still just manipulate any stems into the right position. Add some palm leaves. And there you have your front facing hand tied. So now I'm going to tie off with my twine. Go through twice so this makes sure that my twine's not going to slip. And I can still go in and manipulate any of the stems if they're not in the right position before we're ready to wrap. So first of all we're going to take the piece that we've already pre-prepared And this is going to be really striking against the exotic flowers. I'm going to fold in the tips. This creates a nicer finish to the front of the hand tied. Take some cellar tape and fasten neatly around that tying point. And again, we're still able to manipulate any stems if required before we're ready to finish. So now we want to take our metallic bag and decide exactly where we're going to cut the piece. So I'm just going to hold it. So this is the point that's going to sit in the bag. So I need to cut my stems approximately about this length. And then we can take our square. And it's the same scenario. If I go to the middle here and take this cellophane, it's going to take control. So we need to reduce that down by bringing the stem so we want this to be just about this point in line with the actual side of the cellophane we've already got and the beauty of having the two cellophanes is that you can create this wonderful look by having this nice black section on the cellophane as well as the white showing through on the front so you're creating totally different look to the piece so i'm just going around with my twine fastening off so what i'm going to do is where we've got these points I am just going to go to that point and I want to cap and then I want to just gently pull away and then just tidy up this section here and do the same on the opposite side it just gives it a nicer frill to the edge of the piece rather than being too dominant and I'm going to go for a cerise bow which I'm going to use roughly about a meter an over and under bow so this is one of the simplest to make catch in the middle so one of the things you must always remember is as well once you've made your product is your shop identification um, you can go to widup.co.uk where you can also see all the information on having labels printed, anything to do with your shop name or ribbons 
or even through to your awards that you can put onto your design and there you have quite a stunning limited tide in tropical and then we can aqua pack this and then this can be gently stood into your bag ready for delivery.